Hey guys, Andy from Tinker Crate. Today we're gonna to be working with a really cool material, dry ice. Check it out. For this experiment, you'll need a funnel, plastic tubing, a two liter bottle filled halfway with warm water, a cup, some soap or bubble concentrate solution, dry ice, and a glove to handle your dry ice. Make sure you have parent help and a thick glove when you're handling your dry ice. Dry ice is negative 109.3 degrees, which means you don't want to touch it with your bare hands. The first thing we want to do is add a little bit of water and a bit of soap or a bubble concentrate to make our bubble solution. Next, you want to take your funnel and stick it in the end of your tubing. Using your glove, take a few pieces of dry ice and put them in your two liter bottle. We chopped off the top of our bottle to make this a little bit easier. Then take one end of your tube and place it in your bubble solution. Put your funnel over the two liter bottle and you'll see bubbles start to form. If you want your bubbles to stick, you can use a plate or tray with a little bit of soap on top of it. So what exactly is happening here? Well, first off, we should note that dry ice isn't actually ice at all. It's the solid form of carbon dioxide, or the molecule we all breathe out and plants take in. The dry ice is so much colder than the warm water, it turns immediately into a gas, which along with the water, creates the fog you see inside your bubbles. This fog is similar to when you see your breath on a cold day. Keep experimenting with your dry ice. If you fill a bowl with warm water, you can make a jumbo dry ice bubble, which is pretty fun. We also tried experimenting with oil and food coloring. If you make something really cool, please share with us on our Facebook page. As always, like, comment, subscribe, keep tinkering, and I'll see you next time.